Police say a drunk man breaks into a Fayetteville home and falls asleep on a couch. He's now facing charges of criminal mischief and residential burglary. Five News reporter Caitlin Zollner spoke to the homeowners and joins us live with more details. Caitlin. That's right. The family tells us they are still shocked by what happened at their home over the weekend. Sherilyn and Gustavo Stanton tell us their daughter woke them up on Saturday morning, on Sunday morning, that is, after discovering a man asleep on their living room couch. Marcia Stanton woke up Sunday morning to find an unexpected guest sleeping on her family's couch. I saw the garage door was open, open and... Um, I went upstairs and told my mom. Mom Sherilyn says she did not believe her daughter at first. And she started describing what clothes a man was wearing. I walked downstairs and once I realized there was really somebody down there, I ran back upstairs and got my husband. When Sherilyn and her husband Gustavo woke Mitchell Phoenix up, they say he appeared to be very intoxicated. When the Stantons told Phoenix he broke into their home, they say he claimed he did not, telling them he was at his brother's home. He's like, quit playing with me, man. Where's my brother's at? Like, he thought we was joking. But the family was not joking. They even walked Phoenix outside to their front yard to show him he was at the wrong home. You know, try to show him, you know, where where he's at and does he recognize any of this place. But Phoenix still claimed he was at his brother's home. That's when the Stantons decided to call the cops. It's like, I don't know. I mean, he mistaked my house for his or his brother's or whose house he was at. And while the family still does not know how Phoenix mistaked their home for his brother's, they yeah, say they plan to take extra to precautions so that something like this does not happen again. They are so very easily broken into. And just with the swipe of that dude's hand, it was wide open. Now, the Stanton family tells us that there was no major damage done to their home. Live in Fayetteville, Caitlin Zollner, 5 News. Caitlin, thank you. The Stantons believe Phoenix entered their home through the sliding back patio door, saying they found a pry mark on the outside of it.